Here's breakfast today. I have strawberries and avocado toast with arugula, an egg, and some balsamic glaze. Gotta spread the yolk around. Mm. So good. Mm. Such good strawberries. Mm. What fills here? This was in the fridge. Yum! lunch it looks insanely good so it's arugula and cucumbers on one side tomato mozzarella basil on the other side and then olive oil and balsamic on top and salt oh my god this looks so good i'm so excited to eat this yeah i know so good Yum. Mmm. So freaking good. plates they are farmers market peaches that are ripening very fast so we have to eat them it's a couple different varieties i think there's a peach a nectarine and a pluot and then one carrot with bitch and sauce if you don't know what bitch and sauce is try to see if your local grocery store have it it's the best thing ever um as a palate cleanser because i'm a freak who likes sweet stuff with salty stuff you're cute today <laughs> Which one's your favorite? Uh, they're all good. I think I like the nectarine the most. are about to go in the oven they look so good smashed potatoes broccoli and salmon everything's gonna cook at the same time and hopefully it works out i'm gonna keep an eye on it though Mmm. 
feel good. So good. There might be bones. Mm, I feel them. Mmm. I love the dill. I want everything to taste like dill. Oh my god. Oh my god, the potatoes are so good. For lunch, I microwaved myself a plate of yesterday's dinner. Snack is another bowl of peaches. We're finishing them today. They're so good. Mmm, so good. This is dinner, looks really good. It's pesto zoodles, well homemade pesto, zucchini noodles, and then we needed a meat and we have to eat the sausage in our fridge, so kind of random, but yeah. I'm excited, I've been looking forward to this. Mmm. Mmm, super fresh. Super fresh. Light and like cold, it tastes good. Crunchy too. Get your veggies in. Mm hmm Really good. Is the sausage weird with this? No. Mm, oh, that's good one. Saved a little bit of the pesto yesterday because I've seen this all over TikTok, pesto eggs. These look insane. I'm so excited to eat this. And I finished off the pesto, which is great. Oh my God, these are so cute. These eggs look so good. Okay, let's try. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Wow, need salt. I put pepper too, but I'm out of pepper. Needs better bread too. Mmm. That is so good. And that was so easy. It's basically just stubbing olive oil for just a lot of pesto. I did put a lot of pesto. Wow, it's delicious though. 
Yum. Hello, it's lunch and we just got back from the Japanese market where we got sushi. So this is our lunch today. Let me show you guys. I'm eating spicy tuna and spicy spam masubi. And Matt is eating sashimi, salmon and tuna sashimi and some footballs. These are like sweet rice with tofu wraps. So good. We also got blue bottle. I was feeling spicy today. Yum. Yum. That's how they do some Mmm. Mmm. tonight is a hodgepodge we need to get rid of some of the food in the fridge type of dinner so it's like a mash of all of our leftovers and I'm trying to get rid of some stuff so we have like a little bit of this mashed potatoes a little bit of the pesto zoodles one sweet potato a little bit of arugula and then I have a whole thing of beans so it doesn't really make any sense but realistically this is what had to happen so this is dinner tonight <laughs> interesting dinner <laughs> that is a veggie dinner oh yeah it is Pasto noodles. I've got a lot of pasto today. Good morning. I was feeling like it's just a very simple breakfast today, so I just made some avocado toast with salt and red pepper and coffee. That's it. Shichuka, which is a Japanese dish. It's like cold ramen. It's a summer staple and it's like topped with cucumbers, ham, egg, and a little pickled ginger. And it's like this really delicious dressing. And I just get like the pre made packet and then cut all this stuff and it's so good. Dang, Baba would be proud. Yum. Oh, no. Yum, the ham from the Japanese market is really good. Mm hmm. So good.
bit of cucumber salad. Oh my God. <laughs> it's the same seasoning as when I made the shrimp, but it's basically teriyaki sauce, but made with honey instead. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. That is so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It marinated for like two hours. Mmm. It's good. It is a lot of honey. So. <laughs> My breakfast this morning is questionable. I kind of messed up the egg, but it's toast. We have two slices of provolone left, a little bit of the ham left, and I have one egg, so. Mine looks better if you want to mine. Oh yeah, Max looks better because he's also eating overnight oats. Ta-da! Mmm. Tastes good though. I'm going to attempt to make a savory white bean dip in my Vitamix and I have all of these onions and I'm going to try to caramelize them and it's going to take a while so I'm going to start now and then I'm also going to roast this garlic. I like using my toaster oven because it's super small. I just cut the top off and I wrap it in foil and I put it in the oven for like an hour and it roasts it and then we're gonna like let everything cool and assemble the bean dip right before lunch. slowly reaching the end of my fridge stock so this is kind of all that's left but I really wanted to make this dip it's like a spin on white bean dip it's like a combination of a bunch of different recipes but it's basically white beans caramelized onions roasted garlic and then I had all that dill which I thought would be really good on it and it looks so good and I'm gonna freeze the rest kale chips Mary's crackers carrots and a bunch of ham kind of like you know, nibbly, nibbly lunch today. Mmm. I love kale chips so much. I'm very excited about this dip. Very mild. Mmm. -hmm. What else is in it? Caramelized onions. Garlic. Roasted garlic, dill, parsley, olive oil. Dang, it's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 